Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Studio Walls Artist Interviews, brought to you by Elizabeth Sadoff Art Advisory. My name is Alexa Carvajal, and in this episode, I sat down with Paul Hunter to discuss his journey through the COVID-19 pandemic. Basically, I'm an abstract painter, and uh, because of the confinement last year, uh, I started to walk um, in the parks in New York City, and uh, long walks, as a matter of fact, and uh, Gradually, um, flowers start to migrate in my work, and uh, I've been since painting um, gardens, um, and they are basically flowers on top of my abstractions. And this new series is kind of exciting. It's called Confinement Garden. And then when I start to create those, uh, nobody paid, made any connections. But now today, everybody knows what confinement is about, and. Uh, you know, I have a, it's a kind of very strange because uh, in my studio building, I was the only one working. Everybody were working uh, from home. And now uh, I end up having a great, uh, uh, large selection of work. Mm -hmm. And um, the something positive about that is uh, I have had a, an article in Ipo, Hyperallergic mm -hmm. um, about this. And uh, what happened is they asked us to uh, take a photograph of our studio while we we're suffering from the pandemic. And uh, I sent it and it was accepted. And um, I sent it on a Thursday, on a Friday, I got a phone call from the curator of the Arsenal Gallery in New York in Central Park. And he said, uh, I would like you to exhibit in our gallery. And I said, when? He said, Monday. So I brought all my work there and it, co it co coincided with the um, uh, workers coming back to work uh, in their office. And this show will be on until uh, uh, Thanksgiving. People say, oh yeah, that's normal. That's a normal evolution. Right. But you cannot say that until it's done. So it's an adventure. Right? And also, you know, when uh, I'll, be, I'll be finished with this type of gardens, maybe I'll do some. I'll do something else, but I have no idea. It's a. You see, also it's an interesting process. What I do, I cannot do it again. If I take the measurements of the, you know, where the flowers are and all that, and try to copy that, it's impossible because it's a more emotional thing. It's like a jazz performance or something like that, where you have to be present at, in the moment, and people feel it. You know, it's a. It's uh, not uh, calculated, you know. So there's, you know, there's a lot of things that are adjusted in the same time that you're doing it. So I don't. I, I'm sorry, I can't really answer what you're asking me, but uh, you know, it's, I guess uh, I will be probably in that mood for some times. But I'll see. Uh, eventually, I always change to something else. But I believe that. Um, it's at the end of the day, it's only paper and canvas and, uh, you know, and acrylic or oil. It, right. It's, it's more about the ideas. You know, if I cook, mm -hmm. I cook like I paint and uh, it, it's, uh, it goes together and you have to be open to, it's pretty much, I mean, I don't know, it sounds like, I guess, like a cliche after another <laughs> one, but it's pretty much like being a hunter. You know, you always have to be ready if something happened, you know, mm -hmm. the idea, my best ideas, I always get them when I'm, on vacation, walking, and I don't do that often, unfortunately. It's when I'm off guard and suddenly, you know, I get this idea and I say, why not? Let's try it. And the next day I do that, then it opens the door to a lot of other uh, uh, ideas. You know, every artist says the same thing. It's impossible to photograph my work. Well, in my case, it's true because I work on metal, either gold or aluminum. And I cover the surface with a transparent, translucent uh, acrylic, let's say green, mm -hmm. and the light comes and bounces back. So it's impossible to photograph because it's three dimensional and it's yeah. uh, like right now I'm in the shadow. So mm -hmm. I don't really see uh, how it looks like, but you know. And you know, that's the it's way still it is. beautiful. But Thank I you, Paul, for a great talk. You can learn more about Elizabeth Sadoff Art Advisory and our initiatives by subscribing to our channel, as well as following us on Instagram and Facebook under Sadoff Art. Thank you for watching.